Hello everyone, welcome to Tidy Stat YouTube channel. And in this video, let me show you how to short data in SPSS software. Shorting data is a process of arranging the rows of a data set based on the values in a certain variable. It helps us to organize and simplify identifying the data condition. When we talk about shorting data, we organize the data based on the column. Here, we select the variable and determine the shorting rule, whether it is ascending or descending. Also, SPSS provides the option to let us short the data based on more than one variable. Now, let's get practical. The first thing that we have to do is make sure that we have a variable that contains a specific idea that differentiate the data from rows to rows. If you don't have it, just make it. So go to transform, compute variable. At the target variable, make the variable names here. So just make idea and the label is identification. Click continue and at the numeric expression, we will use the function that can generate the unique number for all our data so click all and then at the case num just hit the arrow button here so it moves to the numeric expression box we use this function to generate the number for all our data and then click ok let's head back to the data view window and see you have the id numbers that differentiate one data to another data so let's move it to the first uh, column because uh, it will be easier for us to reshort the data and then let's short the data based on the column the easiest way to short the data is just by go to the variable name in the header and then right click and then you can sh click short ascending or short descending ascending means we short the data from the lowest value to the highest value and vice versa short descending mean we sort the data from the highest value to the lowest value so let's make it short ascending see in this case we short the data from male to male because we code one for male and two for female see now let's try to short the data based on the income value let's sort ascending now you have the data that shorted by the lowest income to the highest income beside this method SPSS provides another way to short the data now go to data at the top menu and then click short cases here you see a dialog box here and you can select the variable a certain variable that you want to set as the base or the shorted data so now let's short the data based on the gpa move it to the short by field uh, and the short ordered box you can click the radio option that spss provide based on ascending option or descending option so let's make it shorted the data in descending options and you can also save file with shorter data or not and just click ok let's head back to the data view window you see we have the data from the highest GPA to the lowest GPA here next let's sort the data based on more than one variables go to data and then select short cases now let's choose the basis of the variable that we want to set for the shorting process let's short the data based on the gpa and then based on the host size remember the first variable that we put first in the short by box is the variable that is the first basis for spss to do the shorting process then the shorting will continue with the second variable that we put in the short by box and so on you also see in the first variable in the bracket we have a it means ascending you can also change it into descendings and in the bracket 
it will change into D. At the second variable, you can also change it into descending. So now let's make it ascending and ascending for uh, the two variables and then hit the OK button. Let's head back to the data view window and see we are successfully shorted the data based on the GPA. You see this is uh, from the lowest value to the highest value and when we have the same value in the same variable 2.5, 2.5 and 2.5 GPA here, the host size is also already shorted from the lowest value to the highest value. It's best to short the data using more than one variable method if the data has more than one frequency. If each data only has one frequency, it's better to short it based on just one variable. Now, if you want to reshort the data back to the initial condition, just go to the ID variable, right click at the heading, and then select short ascending great your data is go back to the initial condition that's it see you in another video